What's up, party people? Welcome to Honest Trailer Commentaries for the Honest Trailer for Bright. The Bright. show where we will talk about the Honest Trailer we made for that one. Uh, go through it scene by scene. If you stick around to the end, you'll see the stuff that didn't make the cut. Yeah, oh, the yeah. crappy stuff. <laughs> the deleted crappy stuff. I'm Spencer J. Gilbert. That's Joe Starr. That's Dan Merle. Hello. We had to watch Bright more than once for your entertainment. You're How do you guys welcome. Feel? I got well. I I got lucky. Oh, you were out this yeah, week. Yeah, this is. I, I was. I jumped ahead to do to work on something else that we've got coming up. Yep. So I I was largely on the sidelines for this. Sure. So this was this was fun. I got yeah, to kind of see you guys go through this. The and process. I just was kind of like, hmm, all right. Right. It was bright again. Well, it was tough because it's a. I wouldn't put it in Transformers Two category. Not mm. nothing no. is like that. But it is just like a dark bummer of a movie, um, where it's just like it's literally dark. Ironically, yes. it's called yeah. Bright. Very dark. Um, yeah. You actually can't see what's happening in most scenes, <laughs> um, especially if I mean this. Is, I feel like there should have been a Netflix executive who was like. Hey, more lights on this maybe? People are going to watch this on their phone. I can't see these trucks spinning. I don't know. I mean, yeah, and this is like a $100 million movie or $90 million or something. A lot. And like, it's I guess they spent it on like the shimmering jacuzzi at the end. Yes, big and Will Smith. And Will Smith. Will Smith. Uh, yeah. Scientology trailer and, or whatever. And, and the script. And Orc Cop makeup. Yeah. 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 I guess. Yeah. So this is Netflix's first, what, not their last foray into like things that would otherwise be big budget Mm -hmm. filmmaking yeah and it shows the same quality control they've shown towards all the movies since it, they're not off to a great movie start yeah no. i don't think i mean this um, is kind of their original production oof. arm yeah they didn't just buy this off the street like they did cloverfield like a mm. like you would they they, was, they did the uh they did the Times square method on uh, a cloverfield paradox there you just went up and just like hey can i can i buy that from you and they're like here you go yeah and yeah they just put it up there did you guys see now the this movie is a little it, it's a little Whatever, but I re I wish more people had seen Mute so that we could have done Mute because Mute. You wish Mute had been bright. Had been yeah, bright because oh my god, I don't think people even realize he's Amish in the future. That the movie is about a future Amish man. Yeah. What uh, on a and the Mute. See, man, I haven't seen Mute yet. The Mute so this man. Excites either. Me. Mute man is is space Amish and he's on a quest for revenge. Uh, or to find his lost uh, uh, girlfriend, but all he can do is just hold up the photo uh, of her and then punch people. But he's not like, I'm Amish and I'm mute, so this is like heightened my other senses. Mm -hmm. it's just, <laughs> he's just like, he's pretty tough, but he's not like <laughs> anything, he's not like John Wick or something like that. He's one of the strangest slogs I've ever now. been through. I worry for Duncan Jones after Moon. Uh, Moon was so good. Yeah, but it's been like Warcraft and then Mute is like whoa. the orc stuff in Warcraft was good. I will I will defend the orc stuff orc in stuff, Warcraft orcs, or, versus the orc stuff in Bright. No, just general. The, generally, <laughs> the orc stuff. The, anything that was about Duratan was pretty good. And oh, then, just and in then Warcraft. You don't want to humans. You don't want a movie fight. Who's like got a, better orc stuff? <laughs> I will <laughs> I will go on. Orc I will fight, die on fight, Warcraft fight. Hill <laughs> about who's got better orc stuff. <laughs> yeah. Uh, versus this movie. Yeah. Uh, this is a horrible movie. You didn't like it, did you, Joe? Right? <laughs> I thought it was really weird and uh, conventional. Like I, I, to me, this was a, a movie that certainly had very high aspirations, mm -hmm. but it registered to me as a fairly average movie in the David Ayer, Ayer genre. Yeah. Of, of the Training Day end of uh, end of watch. Is that end the of watch. End of watch. Uh, dark deep blue or dark blue. Dark uh, blue. Yeah, it's just kind of that gritty crime drama thing. But in the script, you just kind of did find and replace, and instead of like you find cocaine and replace with magic, magic wand. Magic cocaine. And, oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. And there you go. Well, uh, yeah. This yeah. could have played out now, exactly the same. I wager, and I will. I will uh, watch my me put on my uh, uh, crystal ball and predict uh, comments. Um, you guys are taking this movie too seriously. You're just supposed to like turn your brain off and like watch. Why can't you just turn off your brain? And yeah, just... watch them just like shoot stuff. It wasn't supposed to be a great movie. Mm -hmm. And I look, they're not wrong. You can turn your brain off and enjoy, you know, paint chips. Um, but you, uh, the fact that this was on Netflix, I don't think excuses it. I treated this movie as if I had paid seventeen dollars in Los Angeles to go yeah. see it, and it'd be like, wow, that's a really by the book buddy cop movie, but they replaced all the words with magic words. Yeah, <laughs> it's pretty like that's, right. that's yeah. really yeah. annoying. Yeah. And then they tried the really ham-handed like discrimination subplot, main plot of yeah. the film was just like, 
let's just, uh, I think it's in a deleted scene, but like, can we stop making uh, movies where we treat the races as different species? <laughs> yeah, it doesn't <laughs> work. Humans. It's a little strange. This is Zootopia it, where it's like, but they're different species. Like, you're defeating the point you're trying yeah. to make. Now, yeah. I, I'll, I'll still argue that it works for Zootopia because, to an extent, because Zootopia is supposed to be like a fairy tale for children. Sure. So like, on, on the surface, if you're trying to talk racism to a, to like a little kid, you can talk to them about the differences between a bunny and a fox, maybe. And then as they get older, they go, oh, now I know what the bunny and fox meant. But Bright is supposed to be for, well, I don't know, who's Bright supposed to be for? <laughs> I, I, you just blew my mind, because I did not realize until you guys just brought it up that this is like dark Zootopia. Yes. <laughs> it's dark Zootopia. <laughs> yeah. It's wow. Orctopia. You're right. Yeah. yeah you're completely right. It's 100% Orctopia. Yeah. Oh. Jeez. Well, <laughs> why, didn't we, why didn't we put that in the trailer? All right, it's a deleted yeah. scene. Let's roll it. Yeah. Oh, and for those that's, that are, this is, I'm predicting comments too, because I've already seen it on Twitter. For those that are saying, but you said you couldn't do Netflix things. Oh. Here's the thing. Uh, we assumed that. Yes. Without ever asking anyone. And then we asked somebody, and they said, okay. Yeah, you can. Yeah, just wait a little bit. Yeah. So yeah. here we are. Here we go. Here we are. <laughs> <laughs> Please don't sue us. Yes. From the director of Suicide Squad, the writer of Victor Frankenstein, and Trigger Warning Entertainment. That's who we knew we were in trouble. About race relations. <laughs> Trigger Warning Entertainment. From the director of Suicide Squad, the writer of Victor Frankenstein, and Trigger Warning Entertainment. Fairy lives don't matter today. <sighs> this is going to be a bumpy ride, huh? Mm -hmm. Right. That line improvised by Will Smith. Log into Should Netflix, your first yeah. choice for prestige television and last choice for movies, to see a film that would have crushed at the box office. Well, if pause. A pause. And that's, I say that even going beyond, and I'm not a Netflix hater, I'm not going to cancel my, you know, $8.99 per month thing. No. But like, even outside of their original movies, I would never think to fire up Netflix to go find a movie. Like their library is garbage. Their library has it's rough declined. Yeah, yeah I remember. I mean, I'm I'm so old. I used to get DVDs in the mail from Netflix, and it's like that's what I associate it with. Is like, oh, let's rent movies from there, and it's maybe like the fourth place I would look for something. Yeah, I'm trying to think. The last time I actually watched a movie yeah. on Netflix, Bright. Cloverfield, a non, yeah, it's non all original movie. stuff. I'd, yeah, I'd almost yeah. rather pay six bucks on Prime to rent something than uh, than spend an hour scrolling through Netflix. <laughs> to Scro like, scroll endlessly, yeah. a, a tier. Are we gonna membership. watch Gross yeah. Point Blank again? I guess. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but then even Gross Point Blank will be gone, and then it'll pop back up, and then it'll yeah. disappear yeah. again. And all the Disney stuff is about to leave. Yeah, when they get their thing going. So there go all man. the Star Wars and Marvel movies. So they're making a bazillion yeah. original Should things. 700. 700, Ugh. as the trailer will. Should Netflix see lean into good. the idea that like a lot of it's garbage? Just like, you guys want to watch something ridiculous? Check out The Christmas Prince. It's the worst <laughs> movie ever made. Like, should they just lean into it and be like, I don't know, you pay some monthly subscription. No, I think watch they this should garbage. do it where it's like the audience is seeing these films at the, for the first time, at the same time Netflix is seeing them for the first time. So like they disavow <laughs> any knowledge of it uh, until they click uh. upload, and they're like, wow, I can't believe we gave him that to do that. Yeah. That'd be fun. Side That'd note, fun. I, I just read this uh, on our way in, but Netflix, for their kids' stuff, they're now experimenting with giving kids uh, little digital stickers for watching children's programming. Hmm. Like if they're rewarding them. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> So if I watch Bright enough times, like I get a cool little orc sticker. Yes, you do. Yeah. You get an orc face tat, which is just like <laughs> a shotgun yep. full of like a blue. Yeah, yeah. And that way you'll know whether or not I'm an internet movie commentator first or an orc, orc first. Orc first. Oh, We're getting ahead of ourselves. The questions Sorry. we Sorry. ask. Yeah, oh. let's keep going. Mm. Box office. If buying a ticket were the same as something auto playing after you pass out during Mindhunter. Don't lie, Netflix. You think they I count woke the up to an Adam Sandler views? movie once? Yeah. Those views don't count. I See technically Smith, watched like you've never seen Ridiculous Six. Yeah. For that exact reason. Because he I fell, fell asleep. asleep once and yeah. I woke up in the last whatever minutes of Ridiculous Six. I was like, no! No! <laughs> By the way, props to Kevin and TJ for that mock up. Yeah, that's that not, right. yeah, that's, not the real that's thing. That's exactly it. Yeah. Well done, team. Nice Good job. All right. Count. 
see Will Smith like you've never seen him before. Not as the wild card cop with a by the book partner from Bad Boys, or the wild card cop with a by the book partner from Men in Black, or the wild card cop with a by the book partner from iRobot, or a wild card soldier with a by the book partner in Independence Day, or a wild really card ex soldier for a with a by the book partner <laughs> in Wild Wild West, or a wild card mercenary with a by the book partner in Suicide Squad. But a wild card cop with a by the book partner who's an orc. Whoa. Explore a movie that's more Pause. than a cop. I think you could probably do the same because Will Smith has two types of movies. He has the wild card cop with the by the book partner movies, and then he has the Oscar movies. Serious business movies. His serious business movies all are kind of similar too. Well, but I think inside the serious business movies, you have then two subcategories, which are the successful serious business movies and the horrifically failed serious business movies like Collateral <laughs> Beauty, some big which is their own and seven pounds, and seven yeah. pounds, which is like whoa. <laughs> but I think he's playing the same kind of guy of like the long-suffering, depressed. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, because uh, happiness know, is sort of the same guy. Yeah, pursuit yeah. Of happiness is yeah, very kind of struggling and seven pounds. Spoiler. I can't. Yeah, I love spoiling seven pounds because people, right? people can't believe it. The seven pounds. <laughs> what part is your favorite? Because I'm thinking of like two of my favorites. I'm thinking favorite the part. fact that he the climax of the movie is him taking a bath full of electric suicide jelly by jellyfish. Suicide yeah, by jellyfish. That's my Not something yeah. to judge. Suicide's very serious unless it's done by jellyfish. And it is it's odd. Such a weird choice, and I couldn't believe it was happening as it was happening. I couldn't believe it was happening either. Watching that entire movie, I was like. <laughs> My favorite thing about Seven Pounds is watching it freshly break Spencer's head every time he thinks about it. Well, Collateral Beauty is the one that really sets yes. you over the edge, yeah. but we'll it's yeah, for it's another video. Thing, yeah. Anyways, let's it keep was. watching this one. Drama. It's a complicated social metaphor that <clears throat> explores what it means to be human. We're going to titty bar gunfight die. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, couldn't keep it in there. Blending tired fantasy tropes with tired buddy cop tropes to explore a world of racial allegories where orcs are stand-ins for the historical mistreatment of black people. And that's pretty much it. Orcs are black people and one of them is a cop. I need to know if you're a cop first or an orc first. If the movie has anything else to say, I guess it's that Mexicans are scary? Yeah, this is a David Ayer classic. Oh yeah. Yeah, this ain't Get Out. Nope. You've never seen a premise this interesting get so squandered. <laughs> Where all of the creative possibilities of a fantasy world being part of our own for 2,000 years, everything turned out exactly the same. No, seriously, our history is the same. Mexicans still get shit for the Alamo. Our businesses are the same. We're in a stolen Toyota Corolla. Even our pop culture didn't change. Take your fat Shrek looking ass back to Fiona. <laughs> How does Shrek still exist? Is it a documentary? There's dragons flying around, but our buildings never changed? What's the centaur cop doing? They never even mentioned that. You can't just add the word magic and claim it's any different from a normal cop movie. Magic Task Force. Right. The, the magic, magic feds. Feds. Ah! Oh, <laughs> so the, Al I, the Alamo thing, I remember watching it uh, when I saw it. The Alamo thing was the thing that I tagged in on too. I was like, because I kept expecting them to like be like this is 50 years in the future and 30 years ago like some crazy thing happened uh, like alien portal nation. opened yeah, up someone and... made a wish over a copy of you right. know the, uh, the Silmarillion or whatever and yeah. uh, they woke up yeah, and the orcs were here orcs showed up and some yeah like alien but like no so then when i realized that, like no this is the world and and it just happened in parallel but when he said the alamo i was like wait was it were orcs at the Alamo? But no, but he's, but no, so that, so, but Dude, what, was Davy Jones or Davy Crockett an orc? Yeah. Or was David, David, Bo Davy Jones and David. Uh, oh, let's go. Jim Bowie, yeah. was he an orc? Who's yeah. the orcs? How did the existence of dragons affect the Western expansion? Was or, it a Bowie or, wand? Or English colonialism? Like, Do you ride it, dragon? Can you, okay, I have, the, the most questions I have is about horse cop, not about orc cop, but horse, horse cop. cop. When Sh they flash, up, they flash horse cop because the whole movie is also about... Also, Centaur, you're being really fucking racist. Excuse me. Uh, centaur Cop. Uh, the fact that this whole movie is about the integration of an orc into the police force, a yes. non-human into mm -hmm. the cop world, and then they just show you Centaur Cop <laughs> right there. There's Centaur. And mm -hmm. never mention, never like, well, you know, it worked. We had some trouble with the Centaurs, but now, like... Now, okay, se several questions. Wait, go back. Bring him back up. Bring him back up. <laughs> <laughs> Does he have a partner who gets to ride him? <laughs> That is the most important centaur. It, now, because cops, you see them on horseback when they're doing like crowd control and they get to like ride yeah, up above and like yeah. pretend, you know, that they're uh, cowboys or whatever. Or they guard the outdoor mall. 
Yeah. Does does anyone ride horse cop? Centaur yeah. cop? Why would you throw something in there, a non-human cop, in the movie that's all about the troubles of having a non-human cop yeah. in the police force? And also, like, we've seen the cop locker room. Is there a special locker room for There's centaur stables. cops? They're called stables, stables Joe. Yeah. <laughs> Does he eat oats? Or I, well, I mean, this we eat oats. I want you guys and, and everyone at home to do yourself a favor. Uh, search for Chris Parnell, Christopher Walken's centaur Star, sketch. Centaur sketch. Oh. There's a sketch in Maybe SNL where Chris Parnell yeah. is interviewing to be a doctor, and Christopher Walken is interviewing him, and he's he like asks him two questions about being a doctor, and then he just starts asking him centaur <laughs> questions, and he's like, are you going to get back to me being a doctor? doctor? And he just goes like, no. <laughs> the rest of the interview will be centaur <laughs> questions. He's like, can I ride you? <laughs> And then he says, yeah. like, how do they wipe their butts? And yeah. it's, it's amazing, and it gets really... Uh, but yes, I feel like that was in parallel to that scene. If you yes, saw the, the back end of a horse, horse and didn't know if it was a horse or a lady centaur, would you be attracted to it? <laughs> <laughs> it was a horse. Ah! Oh. Yeah, go wow. see it. Uh, okay. But yeah, I agree, like, it does kind of undercut it's also better the than whole Bright. thing yeah. of just... Unless there's a whole other cultural stand-in for centaurs that we are going to learn later on, or that was cut, like why centaurs are trustworthy but orcs are not. Well, it's just uh, yeah, it's Portuguese. Just so, uh, I was centaurs, thinking yeah. centaurs are like trusty Finns or Norwegians. <laughs> I don't know. Like I don't know the particular racial prejudices of these uh, of this police department, other than uh, orc, orc cops are orc bad. Orc cops are bad, uh, or potentially bad. Because of like, it's so weird that it was a. They specifically made it a two thousand year old grudge. Like it wasn't like uh, like something from the civil rights movement or something like that. But it was mm-hmm. so, something they did two thousand years ago. That'd be like us like getting really pissed off at like Pharisees <laughs> or like getting really yeah. mad about I don't know Etruscans. <laughs> yeah, I, uh, it just don't bring Etruscans into this, Spencer. <laughs> sorry, sorry it's to so my Etruscan fans. it's so lazy, and that's. Because if you had done a movie where you're like, what does Gondor look like in 2018? I'd watch that. I'd watch that. Yeah. It's really interesting to me. But when it's just, I don't know, it's L.A. and one of the buildings looks just a little more elfy. Yeah, that's if it. they had started with Lord of the Rings and like crept that towards the modern day as opposed to yeah. the modern day. What's Anyways, that's why we have all the sequels coming. Elfie. Thank God. Elfie. <laughs> 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 So also, some of John's best reads in this trailer. by critics yeah. for either being too woke or not woke enough, Everyone but wasted it. the cool premise of a modern-day fantasy world, none of which will matter to Netflix, because with an infinite amount of money, you can greenlight an infinite amount of stupid ideas to keep an infinite number of people from ever going to a theater again. Well, we had a good run, movies. Now to never leave the house. Starring Will Smith and Or, or Cop, <laughs> The Filth Element, and Orlando Doom. And also starring the following bright sequels we write for significantly less than $3 million. <sighs> Two reporters track down a story, but one of them is a Balrog, which means she's Filipino. <laughs> a mild-mannered vampire inherits a coffee shop, but there's a twist. Vampires are Guatemalan. Greenlit. <laughs> and a, Greenlit. a frost giant, but he's a Jew. No, that one, that could be my I love Star the, Wars. Uh, the tagline on that one. one Edge Lord it? of the Rings. One mensch, nine one realms. Mensch, nine realms, oy vey. <laughs> Oh, she's all right. She's okay. Come on, everyone clap, if you believe. That was well, a uh, John uh, improv uh, yeah. take oh. right there. It was uh, a little riffing impressive. from yeah. the epic just, voice just guy. Just riffing. Wow. Yeah. A little riff, riff, riff. Off the top of the dome. Better than what we came up with, which you will now see in our deleted scenes. Oh, Hooray. yeah. I don't know if I, I haven't seen these. I'll be like the viewer at home. <laughs> Because with an infinite amount of money, you can bankroll an infinite amount oh, of stupid ideas to keep an infinite number of idiots distracted. Oh, sorry. I meant magic idiots. <laughs> wow. Starry. <laughs> yeah, Dan wow. would not have let that one go. <laughs> no, you get that one out of your system. Yeah. I would have probably the tagged Incredible that. Sulk. A waste of a perfectly good Joel Edgerton. True. Elf Levin. A MacGuffin. <laughs> Dull. Hey. Or cop, true cop, bad cop, screw We've cop. We've already done one of those. Right? Crash. Okay. With orcs, <laughs> all bright. Mm. <laughs> you know, after this in Zootopia, can we hit pause on movies written by white guys that turn races into different species? Well, you heard I'll that earlier in this video. One from the ashes, and I will laugh. And then you'll explode and kill all your friends, right? Problem solved. Give them the wand, orc cop. Sor senum, sor hun, vi banacha, din ha bemfa, buddy. Again, something that happens in normal Los Angeles all the time. That's true. 
Yes, that is true. <laughs> yeah, there's definitely uh, homeless people speaking in uh, dead in orc tongues. Yeah, in, or, in orc tongue. Yeah. Uh, in orc. Or something close to it. Uh, yeah, well. I hate this movie so much. Yeah, Joe was not. I think Joe was probably the, the, the most down on this. I think that um, it wasn't like it's just soul killing, but it was exactly. It was it's the waste, waste of potential. It was like this could have been a fresh take on fantasy but it wasn't. And I'm just, I don't know, I, I get sad for and tired of, like, people dying on the hill of movies like this. Because it's like, wait, like, anyone who's like, you just didn't get it, Bright was great, it was really good. It's like, no, it wasn't. Just be okay with saying that it wasn't. Yeah, it's I mean, it's you know, fine. I, I can't, people I can't can like, tell them that they don't love it. Because, uh, again, I think that this is probably something that if it's, like, your first buddy cop movie... <laughs> I guess. <laughs> like, oh, wow. I mean, like, yeah. one, one's an orc and one's Look, Smith. if you love... How David, are they going to get together? Yeah. I mean, if you love David Ayer, then you'll love this movie, I guess, because it literally recycles every David Ayer plot beat he's done right up to one of the cops saves kid. Kid turns out to be directly related to gangster that is about to kill cop. Yeah, they do that movie. That's uh, uh, like, yeah, Training Day. Little repeat, yeah, repeat yeah, that's beat. Training Day. Um uh, it's all one crazy night. Like, whoa, yeah. whoa, whoa one crazy night in the yeah. hood. Here Gang. we go. All of David Ayer's movies are like, even Suicide Squad. Yeah. One crazy, one crazy night. night, man. <laughs> all of his movies yeah. are like, this is one one crazy yeah. day. Yeah. Oh, do you, like, do you like boring magic ladies menacing your heroes? Uh, he's done that. Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, God. Get some new moves. Get some new moves. <sighs> um, uh, Training Day is a great movie. Sure. Still. Yeah. Yeah. He wrote that. He one. wrote it. He, he wrote it. it. Yeah. I know, but he wrote yeah. it. Great movie. Dark Blue's a great movie. Yeah. I liked End of Watch. I hear End of Watch is really good. I enjoyed End of Watch. Uh his last two, not not for me. Not for me. Well, we're gonna get a chance to get ever more bright because they've already moved forward in the sequel because it was a huge deal for Netflix. So good for gonna get I, guess. Hooray. I hope they could take Frost Giant as a Jew. Yeah, <laughs> I really hope they reach out to us. For Oi! That. Yeah, <laughs> it's cold in here. Yeah. Uh, all right. Well, you'll be. That could be our. Space I will balls. be <laughs> posting that spec script uh, later on Screen Junkies Twitter, and you will be coming back here next week, where we will be covering. Oh, a actually, bunch of oh yeah, yeah, this a is, lot of. Hmm. This will be a different one. Yeah. Are we symmetrical right now? The way we're sitting. Get your okay. Gotham font ready. But, Punch. Uh, Okay. Yeah, there you go. There you There's go. your clue. Uh, and we'll see you back then for one of our weirder Honest Trailers uh, on the next episode of Honest Trailer Commentaries. Yes.